This is Theme Park Thursday with Dillo's Diz. I, I, we want to touch on Back to the Future 2 just for a second because we must. We, we, we have must. To, right? We yeah. have to. <laughs> you know, the way the way I look at it, you know, the original Back to the Future in some, it, it's not, not necessarily my favorite movie, but I see it as like a perfect movie. There's just so much about it that's perfect in my eyes. But what I love about Back to the Future 2 is, is how it repeats itself. And I am curious for you to be kind of dropped into the middle of an iconic scene, which is after George has knocked out Biff and, and then, you know, you kind of get to see what happens after. I, I just think that's the coolest thing in the world that, you know, four years later, you're in an iconic scene of a classic movie. It was already classic by then. Yeah, I know what it was like. I mean, the actual day of shooting, um, sorry to say night of shooting, mm -hmm. um, was um, being called, let me back up. The audition was at Imagine Entertainment on the Universal lot. And so um, what's what was Imagine Entertainment? At that time, it was a real live log cabin set back <laughs> in a grove of palm trees. And, um, you know, the guard told me where to go. And as I approached the building, someone walked up to me and said, excuse me, may I help you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm here for casting. <laughs> oh, yes, right this way. So I'm in a conference room that is as big as a barn and log cabin everywhere, dark wood. The conference room is, you know, an enormous tree that's been cut in half. It's one of those. And and the furniture is all this big rough hewn stuff made out of <laughs> limbs that big, all <laughs> polished and varnished and weird. And there's a video camera and the casting director comes in. And I read copy that I didn't even know, and 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 eventually copy that was not in the motion picture. Mm -hmm. Even then, they were worried about leaks. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And then I get the call that I'm, you know, you're, you're you should be at Whittier High School at four o'clock in the afternoon. Drive out there, um, sit in the chair, go through the the works. The guy cutting hair says, "Man, you've got a great head of hair for this period." I'm like. <laughs> Um, <laughs> just go over there and pick a suit. <laughs> it's kind of like that movie, The Sting, when they're you know, <laughs> right, right. Man, go pick a suit. <laughs> I, I found this lovely sort of striped orange number and a tie and some two-tone shoes. And I was like, I like it. <laughs> and then I went to my trailer and then it was midnight and it was time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> So I got my lunch and I sat down at a table across from uh, uh, Leah uh, and, and who was the nicest person ever. Mm -hmm. She sat with the extras and answered all their questions. That's awesome. Um, fantastic lady. And it's basically my 1987 dream right there. Yeah. It's like yeah, right. Leah Thompson and have her answer all my questions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you love me? <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> You look like this forever. <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, and so then uh, after lunch was over, I went back to the trailer, and then it was four thirty in the morning, and the sun was coming up, and it's like boom, 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 boom. we're ready for you. See, at that time in my career, I didn't know that you could nap on the set. I was all <laughs> amped up to get yeah. in front of the camera and meet Robert Zemeckis and do this thing, mm -hmm. um, and so. I was like this, I was wired and uh, drinking Diet Cokes and <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Um, so we do the first scene, which is, you know, pushing in on Michael and it's okay, I know CPR. What's mm -hmm. CPR? I did that whole thing. And then, you know, him, him running away and the, I think he took his wallet stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, then we did, I think he took his wallet as its own thing. And uh, Robert just ran the camera. He was gonna do 11 minutes uh, without, without stopping. And, you know, it was, you know, six or seven minutes of him saying, okay, now look away. Now look back at me. Now say it. Okay, now look away, look back at me. Now look away, now look back at me and say it. So he had like a number of different choices to okay. do. Obviously he chose the best one. <laughs> and, um, and so that was like, and cut, and moving on, and that's a wrap on Wesley. Uh, 
And I was kind of like, yeah, but I, 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 I <laughs> it's like it's like uh, Burt Lancaster in in uh, in uh, Field of Dreams. He says, mm. It's like it's like being this close to your dream. <laughs> um, but it, it is a dream because you know the magic of film is that you know a year and a half later people are like, oh my god, I stood up in the movie theater. That's you <laughs> all over the country. It was great. You know, all my theater friends were like, oh wow, Ooh, yeah, yeah. It was twenty minutes with Zemeckis. <laughs> so, uh, but but I just watched it again. We were emailing back and forth, and it was on that night on AMC. Uh, <laughs> and I was like. What's happening? <laughs> wow, I guess we're at <laughs> um, Yeah, yeah, it's it's iconic and it's and it's kind of amazing that you know, you know, I play golf and guys say, "Well, what do you do?" I'm an actor. I'm like, oh yeah, have I seen you in anything? <laughs> That's what they always say. Yeah. But I'd love to rattle off thirty years of television credits <laughs> for you. But let me just start with this one. Oh my God, you're that guy? I said, Yeah, I'm. Mean, I think he's still his mother guy. And then you know. I don't know if you've searched YouTube, but there's a guy out there or a girl out there who has sampled it and put a backbeat to it. No. Yeah. That now I have to, now yeah, that's have exactly what's happening that, yeah. when this is over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a, another guy in, in the UK who calls me the boss eyed guy, because that's what, what cross eyed is over there. <laughs> um, he's the boss eyed guy. And he's got a wallet. And he, and he goes on and on. It's very funny. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have my little niche in the cultural literacy now, uh, yeah. thanks to Robert Zemeckis and all the kids at Back to the Future. <laughs> well, and I feel like there's so many movies that are considered like cult classics. I don't know that I put Back to the Future in that category. I feel like it's just a classic, but then I feel like your line is its own like cult classic because just everyone knows that line. Everyone knows your face. Yeah. So it's like its own little thing. It seems to be, you know, I, I had a friend who used to uh, live here in, in Los Angeles and she brought her boyfriend um, to a, a local restaurant to meet me. And he said, would you sign my wallet? <laughs> I said, yes, of course. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course I would. 